Hey, what's going on everyone? So, there's another issue people are experiencing with Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2. And what happens is, is the launcher pops up and it won't allow the game to run. It keeps popping up the launcher. And here's the problem. So, first we're going to right click on the game, go to Manage, Browse Local Files. That's going to take us to the Installation folder and you're going to look for the Config folder. Now, if you have nothing in here, that's the problem because the game is trying to read those files and it keeps going to the launcher. Now, the launcher is useless. It has problems um, saving the configuration. It keeps crashing. So, I'm going to uh, upload a couple of files that you're going to need. The keyboard and the user config files to my mega account so you can download them. And what you want to do is you're going to want to want to copy and paste them into this folder, the config folder of the game. Once that's done, that's all you need to do. Okay? Close that out and you can start the game through the Steam client without any problems. Okay? Click play. Now, you have the option to run the game immediately or go to the launcher. Now, without those files, even if you pick this, it'll still keep popping up the launcher. It won't run the game. But with the files now, it will run the game perfectly fine. Watch. Okay, let's get it started. Sega! And there you have it, works just fine. Running the controller. And it works. So that's the problem. Um, I'm going to leave the details in the description, the download link. So all you got to do is download those two configuration files, put them in the config folder that I showed you, and that's it. Game should work. Uh, anyway, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, and enjoy.